Hi, and welcome to the 7th Carrot Weekly. Today, we are at Linklaters and we'll meet with the partner, Silke Werner. Thanks, Silke, for having us today. You're a very active member of the association. What can you tell us about your different roles? Yeah, actually, I'm uh, very happy to have you here today. Uh, I'm co-chair of the uh, LPA formerly RAFE working group, we just have transformed it into a larger working group looking into all kinds of unregulated fund topics. So there are quite a number of them. And uh, uh, by the way, if there are new members who wish to join, we are very happy to welcome you. Uh, so what have we done over the past few months? We have looked, uh, of course, uh, into ESG. So we have worked on a timeline to help LPA members to really uh, get all the time frames uh, right and not miss one of them. Uh, and uh, the next big topic that is coming uh, this week is actually the cross-border distribution of funds uh, framework. So Silke, on Thursday, you will organize with your team this technical webinar on the cross-border fund directive. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, there's a big change to come and I hope all LPA members are aware, but if they are not, they should definitely listen in. There's a big change, which is called the cross-border distribution of funds framework. Uh, it's a double text in, in Europe and it will be really important. It will kick in on 2nd of August, so we're just four weeks ahead and uh, people should definitely be aware because that uh, will decide on how they can get their product to the market and to investors going forward and that will apply to all the products that are sold into Europe. And what will be the concrete takeaways for our members? What we will be trying to do in our webinar is actually to be very concrete for the LPA members and tell them what that means uh, and how that affects the life cycle of a product. Actually, the new uh, rules, they kick in really early. Typically, when you have an idea for a product, you would go out and see a few of your investors. You would do some sounding, some uh, investor testing, and that is already captured by the new rules. So you will need to comply with a number of constraints. You will need to notify regulators, for instance, that you're going out to the market doing investor testing. And then we will run through the entire life cycle. So we will go from the investor testing to finalizing your product to uh, then bringing it on the market with marketing notifications. And then there's a very important point that is marketing communications themselves will be regulated and there will be requirements on what can be presented in which way, in which a size of letters and so on. If in the future you have your fact sheets and they're not compliant, you could run into trouble. So it is quite important to be aware. And also, of course, post-Brexit, there will be some Brexit considerations. We will also go uh, as far as looking at successor funds. So if you market a product or pre-market it or then denotify it, what does that, does that mean for successor funds? Is there any impact? Yes, there is one. So I think members should really dial in. Uh, it is important and it will kick in in four weeks. So please uh, join our session and be prepared. So many important topics, no excuse to miss it. Last week, we organized an international webinar with our friends from Germany, the BAI, and discussed the new applicable rules in Germany. We also organized another webinar on Israel, so the relation of Luxembourg with the Israeli VCs and also the scale-up nation. Those two webinars can be replayed on our YouTube channel as usual. And really what I think is super interesting in the Israeli scene is the narrow connection to local partners, Israeli venture funds that are very active, very on board in enabling these companies to scale and to get access uh, finally to markets or to liquidity events. And this Wednesday, we will organize the last Luxembourg PVC stories before the summer break. It will be with Vanessa Camilleri from Partners Group, who will give us the latest update of her firm. We're happy to finally meet this week. LPA will be hosting a summer party to its members and we'll finally have the opportunity to meet face to face. Join us for some drinks and be assured that all COVID safe measures will be in place. See you Thursday.